extreme close quarter combat seems to be one of the biggest problems out there, one of the biggest issues out there, and one of the things that most people put aside. Everybody wants to learn how to shoot the gun, how to draw from the holster, how to do all these cool things with the guns. Well, the problem is that we also believe in that, but, the, but in close quarter proximity, three to 12 feet, three to 7 feet, so to speak, when these things, situations go bad, most people don't know how to deal with an arm's length distance fight. They go through dojo mentality fighting, or they watch too many movies. What we want to teach people here is what can go wrong when someone else has a gun or a knife and actually make the, change the tactical approach and the tactical advantage from them to you, thinking that psychologically you think you're defeated because they have a gun or a knife. We now can work physical skills, fighting skills, defensive tactics, knife work if we have to, God forbid, or to be able to take that gun away from somebody and so they don't utilize it on us, but to gain a greater advantage for us as a civilian, as a law enforcement officer, in a close quarter proximity. We're talking about distances that's basically a four foot box that the average person gets stuck in a corner, um, a pilot stuck in a plane, um, a law enforcement officer stuck in the corner, a civilian stuck against the ATM, a woman stuck uh, based in a corner coming back out of her car with her groceries or with her children. We're looking at close quarter fighting here in defense. We don't want to have to sit here and go toe to toe with them. We want to learn how to make strikes. We want to learn how to be effective, and we want to get out. The longer we stay involved in this, the more chance that either one of us, good guy or bad guy, can get injured or killed. The idea of this course was to solve these problems.